Good evening, today we will be covering the post-market analysis dated, the 27th of June 2022. Nifty gained for the third consecutive session on June 27, though gave up some gains during the day. At close, Nifty was up 0.85% or 132.8 points at 15,832.1. Nifty in the current uptrend has entered the 15,886 to 16,172 down gap area, but has so far hesitated to build on gains. 15,927 to 15,638 could be the range for the Nifty in the near term. The BSE benchmark, the Sensex ended 433.3 points at 53,161.28, about 2,311 shares have advanced, 1,030 shares declined, and 140 shares are unchanged. The BSE mid-cap index added 0.8% and small-cap index added 1.5%. On the stock-specific front, Coal India, ONGC, and Lesson and Tubro were among the top nifty gainers. Starting with the reasonings from general to specific, for the energy, natural gas and power sector, currently India has produced 51.7 million tonne of raw coking coal during the financial year of 2021-22, which is 15% more than 44.8 million tonnes during financial year 2021. Furthermore, Coal India Limited has planned to increase raw coking coal production from existing mines up to 26 million tonnes and identified nine new mines. State-owned Coal India Limited plans to build nine washeries with a capacity of 30 million tonnes per annum. India currently has 23 million tonnes of capacity a year. Hence, we could see the hike in the prices. Coming to the natural gas, earlier this month, the Federation of Indian Petroleum Industry, an industry body representing private fuel retailers, said in a letter to the Petroleum Ministry that losses on petrol and diesel will limit further investments in retailing business. Hence, because of decrease in the investment, the prices are going to be stay at the same level or going to increase. Recently, the overseas investment arm of state-owned ONGC has made an oil discovery in a block in Colombia. The discovery was made in the recently drilled well, Colombia. Talking about other sectors. All the sectoral indices are trading in the green with capital goods, IT indices rose 2% each. Companies like Lerson and Tubro and Hindalco has also shown a hike in its price, with Lerson and Tubro share price showing an increase of roughly 2.74%. On the flip side, Apollo Hospital, Ica Motors, and HDFC Life were among the top drags, down up to 1.2%. As we have already covered the aspect that metal index is in the top gainers, and metal being one of the crucial aspects in automobile industry, there is an increase in the input cost for the auto companies like Ica Motors, Hero Motor Corp, AMD so on. We have also seen a plunge in the pharma and financial service stocks like Apollo Hospital and HDFC Life by roughly 1.03 and 0.61% respectively. Talking about the recent developments in the corporate segment, we have. Billionaire Gautam Adani has set the ball rolling to build rolling to build a 1 million ton per annum copper plant in his home state of Gujarat. He has raised 6,071 rupees crore in debt to finance the project first phase. The Gujarat plant, according to Adani Enterprises, will be one of the largest copper refinery complexes in the world, and will commence production in two years. This financial closure, loan of 6,071 rupees crore, enables the company to accelerate the copper project and complete it within the set timelines. An SBI-led consortium of banks has sanctioned the entire RS6071 crore loan for Phase 1 of the copper project. Demand for the soft metal is expected to rise as India ramps up its focus on clean energy and EVs. Following the closure of Tamil Nadu plant, India has become an importer of copper, buying at a record high price of $9,600 a tonne. India's Zomato Limited said on Friday it will buy local grocery delivery startup Blinkit for 4,447 crore in an all-stock deal as the food delivery firm looks to take advantage of the booming quick delivery market. 
formerly known as Grow Furs, SoftBank Group-backed Blinkit rebranded itself late last year as its chief promise to speed up deliveries of everything from groceries to electronics in a burgeoning market dominated by Walmart's Flipkart and Amazon's local unit. It said it would also buy the warehousing and ancillary services business from Blinkit's parent company Grow Furs International for up to 60.7 rupees crore. VI Business, the enterprise arm of telecom operator Vodafone Idea, has launched Ready for Next, a special program curated to help the MSMEs accelerate their growth potential. VI Business Ready for Next program is built on the philosophy of hand-holding the MSMEs in their entire digital journey. The product will help MSMEs in their digital adoption endeavors, while helping them digitally secure the business in the new era of remote working. VI Business Ready for Next program comprises two elements, digital self-evaluation and exclusive MSME offers. As part of the Ready for Next digital evaluation element VI Business has developed a platform which helps MSMEs access their digital readiness, identify gaps and required steps to become a future-ready organization. The Ready for Next evaluation process helps the business owners assess their setup across three aspects, digital customer, digital workspace and digital business. This breakup will present their preparedness and respective industry. Bajaj Auto on June 27 informed stock exchanges that the company has approved the buyback of shares worth up to 2,500 rupees crore. The two-wheeler major intends to buy back 54.35 lakh shares aggregating up to 1.88% of the paid-up share capital via the open market at 4,600 rupees apiece. Share buybacks typically improve earnings per share of a company and return surplus cash to shareholders while also supporting the stock price during sluggish market conditions. As of September 2021, surplus cash and cash equivalent stood at 17,526 rupees crore against 17,689 rupees crore as of March 31, 2021. Currently, shares of Bajaj Auto were trading 0.64% higher at 3,837.35 rupees apiece on the BSE. You can contact us from the details mentioned on the screen via missed call, WhatsApp, or email. Thank you for being patient and listening the video to the end. Please do like, share, and subscribe the channel for the latest updates in the market. That's all for today, see you tomorrow.